Well, fortunately in economics, we have one set of measurement tools uh, that are common, and they're also consistent with the theme of the lectures, namely there's measurement at the individual household level that's also consistent with measurement of the flow of funds across countries and everything in between. And what I'm going to uh, try to go through today, but here's a quick summary of it, is, uh, is what these tools are. Basically, you start with the financial accounts uh, for a household or a firm. So that would be the balance sheet, the income statement, and the statement of cash flow. Uh, you may associate that language with corporate financial accounting and wonder perhaps about its relevance, but they are the benchmark standards and they can be applied to households and especially to households running businesses, which is the typical enterprise in developing countries. So I'll show you in a moment exactly how this can be done. Uh, what use can you make of these things? Again, I'm going to try to buttress my case that it's not just measurement for the sake of measurement, but actually uh, that you can use these measurements. So in this case, we'll draw a distinction between productivity and the return on assets versus liquidity, uh, some, a distinction you could not make if you were not clear-headed as in applying these financial accounts, or at least it would be quite easy to make mistakes. Um, and, uh, and show how <coughs> where, where wealth is coming from and how wealth changes over time. At the household level, that gets you into poverty dynamics. You can start thinking about the mechanics that underlie changes in inequality. Um, And again, in an application, take a look at how households are uh, making a distinction, apparently, between savings, savings rates and productivity in terms of what they do in their own investment. Then we can aggregate up from households, say all households in a village, and create something like the national income accounts, except they're not at the national level, they're village income accounts. But we have the standard savings and investment, uh, GDP numbers, um, and indeed we get balance of payments at the, uh, at the village level or regional level, just so you can see what's going on within the country, not just of the country relative to other. And finally, we'll get to uh, the flow of funds accounting which I like to think of as the, the nuts and bolts of the financial system actually measured. So you don't just have to imagine what's going on in the country over time in response to shocks. You can actually see it in the measurement.